Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the sets go, let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we've almost done our very, you know, the basic range of national focuses here. We're going to start dealing our, with the, uh, the Ranger Brigade. Super Soldiers, I think we have to do like all of these. In order for us to actually get down to actually annexing these people. Yeah, like they're way down the list. Of course, we actually don't need to get the Super Soldiers. That is not necessary for... Unless this will actually do something. Increase sanity. Increase this loyalty. So all of these will actually make... Will greatly increase his sanity. But I don't actually want him to be sane. I kind of want him to be as insane as humanly possible. Fortification charter... I mean, we'll have the game running in the background. No reason for it not to. Of course, we're still looking for this to pop to be like 11. The B-O-U. And then there's something down here too where we're just basically killing the dog. Yeah, we declare war on them as well. So, what? Oh, they're trying to attack us. Okay, I knew this was going to happen. But if they actually fail, they might fall really, really quickly. Oh, fantastic. 500 weapons, 25 pluto power. And some stability because they died immediately. Like apparently, I guess just weren't ready to attack us. Training on the border, plunder political power. I don't want to spend my political power there quite yet, but we are definitely going to raid them because I think they're going to be actually pretty like surprisingly weak. Irregular tendencies, classify files. Okay, our subject is playing worrying tendencies as per indicators of our psychological health ass assessment and further observation with uh, corrective actions to be taken if possible are recommended. Uh, response to demonstration in the last 14 day period, analysis in attached documents for reference, just positioned against a normal psychological emotional response chart, demonstrate a fluctuating and sometimes worrying low levels of relative sanity. Subject is now displaying an occasional outburst of unstable and irrational behaviors, including but not limited to outbursts at subordinates, the use of physical force on close colleagues, and the sudden liquidation of subordinates, uh, whose case files cannot be attached here due to the new uh, memorandum. The policy suggesting that by the committee at Canada Let's Go's uh, express order. Observation of possible uh, personal level integration is suggested by this author. Comrade Let's Go is not performing well and can be expected to perform at suboptimal levels and all uh, levels. Redactions keep it. I just want him to be insane. Stability, research speed, everything goes a little bit worse because he's going sl slightly crazy. But, you know, it is just, yeah, it's just what it is. I want, I want an absolute fucking madman in charge here. Like, I want him to be not even remotely stable. Yeah, this guy, you know, he's got five loot. How can you say no to taking five loot from, I think, someone who's actually going to be extremely weak? So, as far as the AI, I don't think the AI actually knows we're about to attack them. We just got a, you know, we got a 5% research penalty. We just got a 3% research upgrade. So, you know, honestly, it's not a huge deal. Support companies, land doctrines, artillery. Like, what can we actually do right now? Because I, like, we only have infantry. I guess mostly focus on industry. Well, these actually just add factories as well. Yes, yeah, so let's get uh, these done. One more day and we can attack. Like, he might fall really soon. Because they, like, he died almost immediately trying to attack into us. So, I'm hoping that he dies really quickly. Uh, apparently, we're actually, yeah, maybe going to lose this fight. Not too sure. Force weapon integration. Following recent complaints regarding accidents occurring when utilizing poor main, uh, maintained equipment, as well as poorly maintained grenades and other explosives produced before the uh, Great Patriotic War, new measures will be taken. A new training program under the name of the Force Weapon Integration Program, or FITWARE. Uh, will be begin as soon as possible, instructing combat personnel on the functioning and prior proper maintenance of weapons. It's not exclusively uh, produced in our borders for the small arms handbooks. Okay, that's fine. Of course, the next thing, the only thing we can actually do right now is the enemy of my enemy. See if we can get some alliance with the guys down to the south. Of course, you know, they actually are kind of kicking my ass. Ah, shit, we failed. 5, 1500, my, my, we also, okay. 
Things are not great. The raid has failed. So apparently, attacking them is suicide. Them attacking to us, though, is also suicide. So, I didn't get loot. It's a sad day for everybody. And I don't think they ever get loot back. They have zero loot. They have zero loot. Who has loot? Only you do, I think. Okay, so they're actually the only people with loot. So we're going to stay down here just in case we attack us. I think they're probably going to attack um, probably the Earl League next. Like, we don't have loot, so I don't know why the AI actually thinks about attacking us. Okay, so sanity is still quite low. Spent even more guns. Yeah, look, this loyalty only at 5%. So, really, right now, lo this loyalty for the NKVD can slowly start to build up. Because, you know, we just spent a lot of, uh... We might not share our goals, but he does share our enemies. So what will these do? Max entrenchments, fortifications, cooperation. We need to do both of these anyway. We have to get the whole thing done to get down to let them, you know, let them attack. We'll unlock warlord decisions. And this tree. Fire subjects. So we can get down the uh, game, please. One second. So we can get down to here without risking any insan any sanity or um we actually can't do any of this because we actually only own these territories. Okay, so our enemy's enemy, with the assistance of the 22nd Motor, yeah, the second 22nd Division. Lesesco has been conducting vital research in the force adaptation and evolution of the human genome, utilizing resources of the Maginot region. Uh, this research has been deemed vital to our reclamation of our van uh, vanquished motherland. The Euroguard is annoying att annoyingly attempting to obstruct our research efforts by hindering acquisition teams, preventing them from retrieving the unnecessary test subjects. In order for our vital experimentation to continue as scheduled, this obstacle must be removed. 22nd Division carries superior equipment than what is wielded by the Guard, but uh, predictive exercises indicate that our force is insufficiently numbered uh, to launch a substantial offensive against the Euro League. One possible method of uh, augmenting the number of troops at our disposal is diplomacy and alliance with the Durangar Brigade seems most likely a uh, solution in this route uh, to be pursued. The Brigade is highly undisciplined and unpredictable, yet they do possess uh, numerical superiority over every other force in the region. They should have enough men at their disposal to defeat the Euro League, uh, especially with our units that are acting in support. Intelligence indicates that the Euroguard's primary goal is to loot Orenburg, but uh, harassment by the Euro uh, Guard is preventing them from achieving this. The elimination of the Euro League would be mutual beneficial to our two parties. This, of course, action is not desired. There is an alternative. Let's go to believe Dwanger and his men would be interesting test subjects to be captured alive. What we can do? We can invite the German, but watch him closely. We do not work with scum. Well, we clearly can't fight them. Look about it. We'll be like, uh. We'll invite the German. Um, because I we can't fight a war with them, which I think is going to be the inevitable result of um that other decision. So what do we want to do? Increase army training by 10%. A new liberal force will increase army predictions by 28.76%. Damn. So we get they get some weapons. Fortification charter, construction speed for land forts. I mean those don't really seem that good. So we're gonna go we're gonna go with the cooperation first. 35 days. We'll see if they say yes to our proposal. Yeah, they're gonna raid the Earl League. Not a huge surprise. What we should we know we should have waited for them to be in a raid and then tried to raid them back. That would have been that would have made the most amount of sense. Of course, you can actually have an alliance with them and also still try to raid them. I mean they're probably going to win the raid. I mean the Euro League has a big army. But the Ranger is just strong. He is a very tough enemy to fight. Okay, so diplomatic communications. Report from diplomatic facility, classified station uh, 3A. 
The Strategic Research Initiative Study Group recommends establishment of uh, material diplomatic with redacted. Research summarized in the addendum demonstrates the main traits of redacted assets, uh, mainly military in nature, little indication of permanent civilian infrastructure. Research is in progress indicating that our advanced industrial facilities are a potential asset, ammunition, supplies, and weaponry, all judged to be uh, primary importance to the redacted senior staff. Can we supply through our complex production chains? Uh, probable projections of our efforts team in terms of material exchange and diplomatic loyalty are being tracked by long-term diplomatic research group. Uh, Camp Redacted believes that the main uh, concentration of military economic activity... Mm, so what do we want to do? Uh, three commissars. These both do the same thing. Use mass materials gained from expeditionaries and future expeditions. Hold off on setting up future diplomatic uh, communications. Um, are to be terminated first. Following the guards and then self-termination will be available weaponry. So we want to... Are we killing them? Are to be terminated first. Sure. To choose, a, choose a top option because I'm sure it'll not be a big deal. So Sandy's at 67%, this loyalty's at 7%. Again, that's like not even a that's not even a problem. Don't have to worry about that at all. So it looks like uh Derwanger is going to beat the Euro League. So you you know Colin calls into question why they don't just go kill him. You know, Dwanger, he has four divisions, but they are extremely tough. At least compared to our troops. Our troops kind of suck ass. I'm gonna deploy this troop immediately. Throw them in the purple. And can I actually change? Are these already in the Soviet? No, they're all just generic. This is a point thing. Part feet actually don't get the the Soviet. Does the Soviets not actually have a units right? I would have thought they did. So what can we do? Army drilling goes up. Army really goes by five. We get a thousand manpower. Communications 72A. A diplomatic mission to the Wanger Brigade Banding Group has proved to be a successful. Estimates of our um, unpredictability has had a probability of a successful of mere fifty percent. One comrade Malasesco wisely saw appropriate to take a risk on. Representative of the Wanger Spade. One redacted had been sent in an ill-maintained truck. In a matter identical to our own, this behavior is noted to be due to a lack of diplomatic history from the Duranger Brigade. Letter of approval from Duranger's Brigade was normally written in a form not appropriate for a letter, seemingly penned on the opposite side of, of, of this guy's letter. Fantastic. Handwriting is remarkably consistent with uh, studies on individual performance while intoxicated. Regardless, they will be used as a tool to aid our destruction of the Euro League. Okay. So, I mean, that sounds... Good, I guess. I mean, it's still actually going to take a while because these all take 35 days. So this is almost like a year from now. At least what we got. Uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, uh, 16. We have like 19 decisions. So that is almost two years of uh, focus trees here that we have to go through. And we're going to keep going down this one tree. We're gonna just go, we're gonna focus on one tree and then focus on the other. I don't think there's a good reason right now to at least split them up. So cooperation. When the news came to our subordinates that Lesesco had a mutual pact, uh, would be forged on the 38th Brigade, and um, the suggestions quickly rose from skepticism of a trust afforded to discussing of allying with the once German invaders. Hearing of this uh, commotion, the scientist took it to himself to explain his rationale. Let it not be the misunderstood that there are as much evidence, both theoretical and empirical, as to the scientific progress and strategic initiative that this alliance can entail. Recall our early experiments on the inherent cooperation of collectivization of grain when fused together entails, and realize that this uh, co-evolution does not apply to plants, but us human beings. Uh, we will have uh, disputes with them in the past years, but now we are united in a common goal of peace, uh, pacifying the Urals and purifying the weakness of the Russian peoples. Our supply of resources, both human and artificial, will multiply, and a technological capacity of an unprecedented surge in uh, militaristic supremacy. Uh, there was applause from the most faithful of scientists, though some still sneered at the word. Okay. Let's see what the bandits have to offer. I mean, our country is pretty big. I mean, that's gotta be good. We have three million people in it. I'm sure that's at least somewhat good. 
Where are you guys? You guys are having your uh, treaties. That's fine. What are you guys doing? You are going down here. And what are you doing? Okay. Strike Orenberg strikes up. Apparently they can declare war. Oh no, these are raids. Okay. Don't worry about that too much then. We have three divisions. Um, seven points here. We can start putting political power to keep buying their disloyalty down. We have 154 political power. Again, it's really only for those two things. It doesn't really do anything else. I mean, it prepares raids, but for the most part, that actually doesn't do anything. I mean, it gives us um, army experience, but does that matter too much? Eh, I don't really think so. I mean, it lets you get the drilling and stuff here. But, I don't know, that doesn't seem like that great. Army goes up. Lost points. So we can spend nine army drilling. But do we, does drilling need to be higher? Does readiness need to be high? I'm not too sure. Okay. So experts from the experimental uh, report. Uh, verifying the validity of the theory of collective growth of wheat. Plants are filled with layers of ground soil, lightly irrigated, approximately 15 millimeters. Wheat seeds planted in a planter at, uh, at seeds density of approximately 1,200, 120,000 seeds per square meter. Plants are placed in a uh, controlled env environment, temperatures 37% below natural preference, and humidity 54% above natural preference. Ultraviolet light source produced uh, provided for growth. Planter left in uh, containment and observed at weekly intervals of four months with water applied bi weekly. Result, we grew at a slower rate than expected and produced yields 58% below predicted output. Approximately 37% of seeds failed to germinate. Conclusion inconclusive. That doesn't seem very inconclusive, but sure, try again. Why not? So we can spend some points to increase their disloyalty, but then immediately buy it down. Okay, we're just gonna go, we're gonna spend six points, get our army this up without actually just making the end KVD a bit annoyed at us. Let's go set by five. You know what? Do this one as well and then buy down loyalty. We're at 36% readiness, 13% drilling. Again, I'm guessing you want readiness to be as high as possible. And that drilling doesn't really matter. So you just spend drilling to get the readiness up. And the only way to get readiness up, or the only way to get drilling up, is to have army experience. It's very, it's a, it's a strange system, which I'm not 100% to actually understand, but... Okay, so he's done construction too. We can, let's, 511 days is insane. Never mind, we're not going to do that. Uh, what can we research here? Um, motorized. Oh, we don't actually have motorized. We because I, I changed them. You know, your infantry defense. We'll get you. Three hundred seven days is a long time, but could be worse. All things considered. But I do think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not, do I like to thumbs down. Or to subscribe and goodbye.